class. Good, Good morning, morning, Mom. So how are you feeling today? Two 
uh, groups of planets in our solar system. So this per, uh, the first four planets in our, uh, that are closest to our sun are called as Celestial planets. Yes, that's right. The first four planets, which are this, 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 and this, are called as terrestrial planets. And how about the other four planets that are farthest to the sun? What are they called? Jovian planets. That's right. They are called Jovian planets. Again, what are the two um two types of um, uh, two groups of planets in our solar system. Yes, Nicole? The terrestrial planets and Jovian planets. That's right. Let us all clap our hands to Nicole. Okay. Yes. Who can tell me what solar system is? Eva, uh, yes? Donnie? So, the solar system is made up of the sun and everything that orbits around it, including planets, yes. moons, asteroids, <laughs> comets, and meteorites. That's right. Very good, Tony. Okay. Now, we are going to have another activity. But in this activity, I will divide you into two groups. So, yes. So this will be the group one, Nicole, Eliza, and Cesar, you will be the group one. And Elva, Donnie, and Melanie, you will be the group two. Okay, for the group one, listen carefully. So I have here something in board. So this is a, a picture of our solar system. Okay, but you have noticed that the planets in our in there has no labels. So what you are going to do is to name or write the names of each planet on the box provided. Okay? Did you get it, group one? Yes. yes. Okay, for the group two. Yes. I am here a box and this model. Yes. So inside this box are words. Or uh, names of objects that you can find here in this model. What you're going to do is you're going to pick uh, the words here in the box, then paste it to the objects that you think this word belongs. Okay, did you get it? Yes! yes. Okay, um, each of you will be only given five minutes to do this activity. And your five minutes starts now. Okay, group one, group two. Group two. Yes. Correct. Let us 
give them a round of applause. <laughs> but I have something to correct here. So the spelling of Uranus, it's not O, it's U. Okay, U. Uranus. Okay, now let's check the word of group 2. Okay. Okay, the word of on this planet, group 2. Name the planets correctly. And this stones here are also called as asteroids. Then this line, circle line is called as Robin. So the word of group two is also correct. Okay. Now class again. Do you still remember the two uh, the two groups of planets in our solar system? Them? Yes. yes! Okay, what are those again? Celestial Yes, Nicole. Celestial planet and Jupian planet. That's right. Okay, so it's like you already have a prior knowledge about our solar system. So with that, we are going to dig in, uh, we will be going to dig deeper into the different planets in our solar system. And we are going to start with, of course, the planet that is closest to the sun. So what is the planet that is closest to the sun? Mercury! Mercury. Right. So the planet that is closest to the sun is? Mercury! Mercury. And this is, uh, this, um, this is what Mercury looks like. Wow! wow. It's like a moon. Okay. So Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It rotates slowly about twice for every three orbits. Its crater surface can experience temperatures upwards of 800 degree Fahrenheit or 426.7 degrees Celsius. So imagine, it is very hot in the air. And there is a reason to that. It is because of its proximity or its distance to the sun. <coughs> um, but there's a twist. However, temperatures on the other side uh, facing away from the sun are cold. About negative 279 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 173 degrees Celsius. So, um, the side that is facing to the sun is hot. While the side that does not face, uh, that is not facing to the sun is cold. Oh. Amazing, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to the next planet. So the next one is the second closest planet to the uh, to the sun, which is the Venus. Venus. Yes, Venus. The happiest planet. Money, Venus. Yeah. Okay, the second closest planet to the uh, sun is Venus. Yeah. And this is what Venus looks like. Wow, That's so amazing. So Venus is the second planet closest to the sun. It is the largest planet seen in the night sky. The cratered surface is hot with surface temperatures around 900 degree Fahrenheit or 482 degrees Celsius, the product of a runaway greenhouse effect. Although the atmosphere is nowhere near as thick as that of any other planet, it is the thickest of the terrestrial planets. So remember that Venus has the thickest atmosphere among the four, uh, the third other terrestrial planets. So the density of its atmosphere makes the air pressure at the surface 90 times that of Earth's. The heat and pressure make the planet decidedly inhospitable to life. So the, um, um, it is too hot in the planet, that is why living in there is impossible. And do you know what planet, uh, what is the hottest planet in our solar system? Yes! What is it? Venus! Venus. That's right, Venus is the hottest yeah. planet in our solar system. Okay, now what is the third planet that is closest to our sun? Earth! That's planet. right, our very own planet Earth. Yes, wow. that is what our planets Okay, who can read 
from the sun. It is also a gas giant, just like the uh, Jupiter, Saturn is also a gas giant. And its most impressive features, as seen from Mars, is an extensive and complex ring system. This is it, uh, uh, this is the Saturn's new system. Okay. The rings orbit the planet in a thin band about a mile thick. The radius of Saturn is about 9.5 times that of Earth, and instead of one paltry moon, it boasts. 62 uh, moons. So, uh, planet Saturn has 62 moons. Okay, the interior of Saturn, just like Jupiter, is made of mostly hydrogen and helium. Okay, now, what uh, planet um, follows Saturn? Uranus. Okay, that's right, Uranus. And this is what Uranus looks like. Uranus is the seventh planet that is farthest from the sun. While most planets spin on their axis with a slight tilt, the ice giant Uranus spins on an axis parallel to its orbit with a diameter of 31,518 miles or 15,723 kilometers, this cold planet is four times the size of Earth and is made of a large atmosphere of methane with a dense core of frozen methane. So this planet is known as a cold planet. So it is what? Um, four times big, bigger than our planet Earth. Uranus has a faint ring system and when the seven moons from its orbit. Okay, now who can tell me what is the last planet in our solar system? The Eva. Mars and Neptune. That's right, Neptune. Okay, and this is what Neptune's, uh, Neptune looks like. Okay, Neptune is the last planet in our solar system. At the same time, it is the farthest one from the sun. And like Uranus, it's a very cold place. Uh -huh. It is also known as the blue planet. Its surface temperature is a chilly negative 353 degree Fahrenheit or negative 214 degree Celsius. Because of its distance from the sun and its large orbit, one year on Neptune is 165 Earth years. So 165 years here in Earth is, on, is uh, only equal to one year to Neptune because it's longer than the Earth. Okay. The atmosphere is mostly methane, which gives the planet its blue color. The cold interior of the planet is made with methane ice. Like all the other planets, Neptune, like Uranus, has a diameter roughly four times that of Earth. Just like Uranus, Neptune is also four times bigger than the Earth. Thirteen moons in a faint ring system orbit the planet. So it has thirteen moons. Okay, so that was all the planets that we can find in our solar system. Again, um, who can uh, enumerate the planets in our solar system? Yes, Nicole. The eight planets of our solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. That's right. Very good, Nicole. And these um, eight planets are divided into two groups, which is? Cesar. Terrestrial and Jovian. Okay, that's right. Terrestrial and Jovian planets. Okay, since you already know the different planets in our solar system, who can tell me or who can tell the class what are the difference between terrestrial and Jovian planets? Huh? Eva. They are different in size, distance, composition, gases, in atmosphere, number of moons, and movement. Very good, Eva. Okay, so um, terrestrial planets 
and Jovian planets differ in size, distance, composition, gases in atmosphere, number of moons, and movement. Okay. Since you already have uh, understood or learned about the different planets in our solar system, we are going to have an activity. This is an individual activity. So in your paper, I want you to make a concept map. And in your concept map, you are going to choose a, I don't know, a graphic organizer rather. Not a concept map. You are going to create a graphic organizer that shows the different planets in our solar system with their characteristics. Did you get it? Yes. yes. Okay. You know, you may now start your doing your activity. Okay. Are you all done? Yes. Okay. Um, just pass your papers, for I will be the one to check your works. What's your paper says? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, did you learn? Uh, did you learn many things in the discussion? Yes. yes. Oh, many more. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Well, to um, uh, know if you have really uh, understand or grasp grasp something from our discussion, we are going to have a short quiz. Okay, get, get a piece of paper. Okay. So, direction. Read each item carefully and answer the following questions by writing the letter of the correct answer. So, you are just going to write the answer of the, uh, write the letter of the correct answer. Okay, you get it? Yes. Number one. Okay, pick up. Number five. Okay, finish? Yes. yes! Okay. We are going to check your answers. Okay, number one. Who can read it? Answer the question. Yes, Eva. Which of the following statements describe the outer planet? A. They are large. They are large and made of rocks. B. They are small and made of ice and gas. C. They are large and break up loosely. <laughs> Donnie, Eva is reading. So please don't. I don't know. Letter B. They are solid and made up of rocks and metal. Mom, the correct answer is C. Um, are you sure? Yes, Mom. Okay, your answer is correct. <laughs> Other planets are large and made up of mostly gas. Okay, number two. Melanie, which of the following planets has the highest average surface temperature? A. Mars, B. Venus, C. Jupiter, D. Mercury. B. Ma'am. That's Venus. right. Thank you, Melanie. Okay, so Venus is the planet that has the highest average surface temperature. Okay? Number three, Eliza. How are Earth and Venus similar to each other? A. Venus and Earth have almost the same. B. Venus and Earth have almost the same size. C, Venus and Earth have almost the same temperature. B, Venus and Earth have the same distance from the sun. Let's read the keys. B, are you sure you like No. no. Yes. yes. Letter B. Okay, who can help you like that? Yes, Eva. Mom, the correct answer is letter B. That's right. The correct, the correct answer is letter B. Venus and Earth have almost the same size. Okay. Number four. Yes, Number four. Which of the terrestrial planets is the biggest? A. Mars. B. Earth. C. Venus. D. Mercury. The correct answer is B. Earth. That's right. 
letter B. Earth. Okay, for the last number. Dolly. Which of the following planets is farthest from the sun? A. Venus. B. Jupiter. C. Uranus. D. Neptune. Letter D. Neptune. Yes. Okay, your answer is correct. The planet that is farthest from the sun is Neptune. Okay, so guys, uh, I mean students, I think that we have really learned so many things from our lesson. Okay, to end our lesson for today, I will have, I will give you a assignment. Okay, for your assignment, you are going to create your own model of the solar system. But the materials that you, are, uh, you will uh, you'll be using in your um, model are materials that you can only find in your surroundings or in your homes. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, that would be all. Thank you, uh, learners, for participating in my discussion. Goodbye. 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 Goodb